and thanks for looking at our project. Thanks to your interest, we're moving forward, and you can see progress and more information on our new website, cambiocar.com. That's C-A-M-B-Y-O-C-A-R.com. We're also working on publicity, both here in Costa Rica and internationally, that we'll report on soon. Look at the pictures in our photo gallery. They show how super easy this car is to build. And please write us with your questions or comments. Next, we're going to show you some features of our design. Thanks for watching. Hello and welcome to our project to design and build simple, affordable electric cars that can be built anywhere in the world. We're going to be showing you some features based on our 1-6 scale model, which is about 20 inches long. The real car will be 3 meters, or about a little under 10 feet. Notice the simple continuous curve of the top of the car, which is used throughout the design to make it simple to build. Another important aspect is the curved windshield, which is actually flat, but it is cut out of a round circle of glass with the two sides cut off, makes it very easy to make, and blends in very well with the curves of the car. From a standard 8x12 sheet of laminated safety glass, we can cut six windshields. Forward of the windshield is the trunk lid. In the model, for simplicity, it lifts off. In the real car, it will hinge up. Under the trunk lid and in the dash, we can see the spare tire, which makes use of a normally very underutilized space. It fits right here, slides in and out very easily. In this area here, we'll have most of the chassis electrical system. Fuses, relays, wiring and switches make it very easy. No more standing on your head under the dash. To one side, we'll have the windshield washer reservoir. To the other side, we'll have the brake fluid reservoir. The windshield wiper motor is actually in the trunk lid. But as you can see, the windshield wiper itself has very good coverage of the large, flat windshield. On either side, of course, we have headlights, turn signals. Access to the bulbs are inside this area here, which is actually a large glove box on each side. Very handy and very good use of that space. This area here will be covered by a transparent, tiltable cover, similar to the vent windows on old-time Volkswagen Beetles and other cars, for very good interior ventilation. Through a screened opening here, and also another one here, which direct air to the passengers and the driver. If these are closed during cold weather or rains, then air will come from a separator system inside the trunk lid, with also a blower fan there. On the door itself, behind the ventilation opening, will be a curved polycarbonate sheet cover here. The flat glass, slidable, and tiltable side windows for ventilation. Also a fixed rear side glass window. As you can see, there are three seats inside for three adults. We're going to open the door to look inside. The doors actually open up to shield from the rain, very easy access, and very handy to not get wet. The driver sits in the middle with easy access from either side. The passengers themselves have very good leg room. As you can see, there's room here, especially in taxi use, where they can put their shopping bags on the floor in front of their feet. Above the door is a passenger handrail, which acts to make the room, the roof into a compound beam for rigidity. Below the door is a triangular section beam, which gives rigidity to the floor and for side protection. Inside the door itself is a 2x2 two two square tube to act as side crash protection. Door locks will be at both front and rear of the door. Inside the we can see that the driver sits on a large box. This is actually the battery container box, which extends to the back of the car, and we'll see it in a minute. Because of the battery box in the center, there's actually a drive motor at each rear wheel, which is located inward and forward of the rear wheel, with a chain reduction drive to the rear wheel, running in oil. Basically, a motor cycle change, but running in oil for simplicity and long life. Moving to the back of the car, we'll be looking inside. Between the rear seats, we can see ample space for a child safety seat in the safest part of the car. On either side in the rear is ample storage space. 
which could be mounted with shelves if necessary, plenty of luggage space. We have about 600 liters of luggage space, trunk space, which is about 33% more than the new Toyota Corolla. Notice that under the trunk floor, on the two sides of the battery box, we have a space which will hold the motor controls and other electrical system for the back of the car. The major electrical power systems are all here at the back and very easy for maintenance. Notice the shape of the rear bumper coming up in the middle. This is actually to clear the battery box. One feature of the bumpers is that they are mounted to be able to easily deflect without damage. So you can see here, of course, in the real car they won't be this soft but you can get the idea, they're made to deflect instead of being damaged. The battery pack itself slides out very easily, straight out the back of the car. It will have little wheels that drop down to support the weight, because it is a very heavy component of the car, major weight component. This is how batteries can be maintained, or, especially for taxi use or on trips, they can be exchanged very easily, quicker than filling your gas tank. goes right in there. The rear window itself will be a curved plexiglass or polycarbonate sheet in a simple curved frame for rigidity. Here we have the ventilation openings for the interior. We have a very good ventilation system. Notice the curve of the top of the car. This is the same curve we use on the sides, on the rear, the rear panel here, the rear bumpers. This curve is used throughout the car together with the curve of the windshield, which is also used to mount these windows here and for the front of the door. So that's the basic design. The front suspension uh, and steering and brakes are relatively normal. We'll have rack and pinion steering taken from single seat dune buggies because it's available, lightweight and well proven. As far as performance, because we have the same size battery pack and very near the same weight, we expect performance to be very similar to the little Italian Riva, which is a two-seat car with for two adults and two, ne two children. In our case, we have seats for three adults, one child in the center, and if necessary, one child on each side in the back. So we can have up to six people, up to six people seated in this car. So that's the basic features of our car. We hope you enjoy it and look forward to telling you more about it. Thank you.